Hey there, this is Koi, and this is going to be a little guide for the Hulahan Room as it pertains to Randomizer. Hulahan Room is a room that has 225 rupees in it that you can collect one time in any given seed, although you can actually enter the room multiple times. Uh, but if you needed rupees for Zora or something, this is a, a method he would use to get some quick rupees. Uh, so there's three methods I want to show you, one requiring no items, one requiring boots, and one requiring gloves. So I'm going to show you the no items first. It's also the slowest one, but it is the one you don't need anything to do. So we're going to go east from Sanctuary, but first we're going to walk down here, and then we're going to go east without walking too far south on the screen. So we don't want to go any farther south on the screen than we absolutely have to. So right now you can see I'm hugging that top wall. Right here we want to continue east, then walk up. The blue guard will aggro, but he's not going to come around and bother you. Well, not, not until I'm done jumping in the water four times. Three and four. And he might hit me there, but no big deal. And just fall into the hole. And it's the Hulahan room. Easy rupees, right? Now, if you've made a mistake, if you made a mistake while walking uh, east there, like say I wait, we walked over to the east, but I went way too far south. Like I'm way too far south right now, you can see. Or like you're walking and the guard like bumps you south or something. Uh, you can still do this. You just have to uh, deal with two extra screen transitions. Just go into this cave and out again. And then just do the four jumps in the water like before. One, two, three, four. And fall in the hole. And it's the Hula Hand Room. Just like that. Okay, so our next method is going to be using the boots. Everybody loves boots. And for this, we need to go west. Meow. And leave me alone, green guard. There we go. Okay, so we need to go to right here, and we're going to bonk into these trees. And then we're going to dash down from this position. We only dash like a pixel, but that's, that's what needed to have happen. Don't hit me. They can hit you, it's just I don't like being hit. I just, if they're mean, guards are mean. But then we're just gonna dash all the way over to that hole from before and dash into it from below. Voila, the hula hand room boots method. Now, the fastest way, the fastest way to enter a hula hand involves having a glove and one bomb. We need one bomb for this. We're going to come over here to the back of escape entrance at this grave. Pick up the rocks in front of it. And we're going to push it open, but not fall in. Not too hard to do. And basically, we're just going to stand kind of close to it and bomb ourselves in. There's a lot of leeway on this. You don't have to be, like, as close as possible or anything. It's actually very, very free. In fact, in fact, you can stand really far away from it uh, in certain positions. Your X coordinate, how far left or right you are, is what determines how far away from the hole you can be. And the bomb will still push you into it and set up a little hand. So like on the far left side, like I'm hugging this wall right here, you can go all the way down to 4D8, which is right here. You didn't think it was going to work, did you? But it did! <laughs> now the last myth that I want to show you is uh, one you wouldn't really use this for the um, the rupees, really. This is, this is more of a method to get from dark world to light world without uh, having to mirror. Or save and quit. Okay, so we're going to go over here and we're going to bonk into this barrier and then dash down, just like the boots method from before. Then we need to go to this screen without going too far south. And dash across. And I'm not gonna- I can super speed here, but I'm gonna not super speed just because... Go away. And you just walk right into that hole. Voila! the hula hand room. And you can see that I went from the dark world to the light world without having a mirror or a saving quit. So this is a method you could use to um, save like a mirror portal on, on laser bridge or something like that in the event that you had killed Aga 1 and had the mirror. Uh, otherwise, it's not really that useful. And <laughs> since Ganon, the Ganon hole needs to be available, you know, it's probably not that useful already. <laughs> but I felt like I needed to show it to you, especially with uh, the quick Ganon option being a proposed change to the randomizer. 
But that was the guide. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.